Hi, I'm Linda from Swift Fox Industries. Let's go over how to connect the electrical component of a skid steer attachment to the port on your machine. First, test the electrical port to make sure it's working properly and to determine which buttons on the joystick of the machine are associated with which pins at the electrical port. Then we can install or reset the pins in this electrical plug. We want to test these two buttons on the joystick to determine which pins they're associated with on the electrical port. Each pin location in the port is identified with a letter. For this part, you'll need a test light and someone to operate the skid steer. Make sure the machine is running, that it's unlocked, and the hydraulics are activated. Some skid steers have constant power, so you may want to locate that first. On this machine, it's located at letter K. Then you can have your partner push and release the button on the right. That's located at letter D. Then you can push and release the button on the left. And we find power there at letter C. This is a typical plug that you'll find on a skid steer attachment. On the front, there are letters that mark pin location and on the inside are corresponding letters to the pin location. The electrical plug for the attachment uses these female pins. Put the small end over the wires and then you'll want to crimp it. If you don't have a crimper tool, you may be able to squeeze the end with pliers, but it's best to always use the right tool for the job. Now we can insert our pin into location C and you're just going to push down until you hear it click. You can tell it's in on the front when it's almost flush and it doesn't pull out. If your wire is not sturdy enough to push down on, what you can do is use these thin needle nose pliers and work it down. What's more common is you'll get a skid steer attachment with an electrical plug and the pins will be in the wrong spot to match your machine. You can easily fix this by using a pin removal tool you just slide that down beside the wire and what it does is it unlocks the pin allowing you to pull the pin out. Then you can move it to the right pin location to match your machine. For skid steers that use a 12 volt plug like this, the ground is usually position B except for John Deere which is usually in position A. For this completed wiring harness, you can see it has pins in B, D, and C. So this will run two auxiliary functions with B as the ground. Other wiring harnesses may have more pins. This is for a snowblower, so it has four functions with the ground. <laughs> 